Welcome to Hettig. My name is Andreas Hipoff. In this video, I'd like to explain how to design angled cabinets with angled Hettig hinges. When planning furniture perfectly fitting into a room, it's sometimes useful to design cabinets with doors that are not in the common 90 degree angle to the side panels. For example, in this kitchen, angled hinges allow to access the space in the corner. Another angled cabinet allows to move quickly in and out of the kitchen without running into the edge of the kitchen cabinet. In order to meet requirements for different angled applications, there are also different angled hinges. So on this exhibit, you can see different angled applications, starting with the standard 90 degree angle and with the standard hinge. So when the angle is over 90 degrees, like here, you add 45 degrees for a um, corner angle of 135 degrees, you use the W45 inch. It's the same with this cabinet here, 90 degrees plus 30 degrees angle, you use the W30 inch. Looking at this exhibit, you can see that the vertical reveals between doors are all the same, even though we have different applications. The corner cabinet was built using the same side panels as the standard cabinets. This looks quite nice when corner and standard cabinets are placed directly next to each other. You do not need to cut or edge bend special side panels. Even the positioning of the mounting plate 37 mm from the front edge follows the common system 32 construction. This is a great advantage in production. The construction of the end cabinet is a little different. First of all, the cabinet requires different side panel depths. In order to create a perfect design, we recommend to cut the front edges of the side panel in the angle of the doors. Checking the assortment overview is the quickest way to get the W30 hinge information, which is required to design the end cabinets. The catalog documentation helps to find all the correct settings. You will notice the technical drawing in one-to-one -one scale. This will help you in defining all the details. For this project, we have printed a copy of this page. Be sure you also print in one-to-one -one scale. I recommend to start drawing the door thickness into the drawing. In the following example, we are assuming these requirements. A side panel thickness of 16 mm, door thickness of 90 mm, a cup distance C of 4.5 mm, and a reveal of 2 mm has to be realized. Next, you measure the cup distance C and mark it into the drawing. You may choose a measurement that is already set in your machines, for example, 4.5 mm. This way you will see the outline of the door. From the outer edge of the door, we can set the reveal. If you like to have a 2 mm reveal, prolong the line of the outside door and measure 2 mm from this edge. Draw the outside of the side panel from this position, making sure you are in parallel to the inside of the side panel. Now you can measure the side panel, in this case 60 mm, and mark the inside. Read the required mounting plate distance from the marked inside of the side panel, 1.5 mm. If necessary, the overlay may be adjusted using the overlay adjustment integrated in the hinge.
Following the line of the inside side panel, you can also measure the mounting position of cross mounting plates from the inner front edge of the side panel. This measures 43.5 millimeters. We recommend to note all measurements in order to avoid mistakes. This approach is the same for all Hettich W hinges. We hope this video was interesting for you and that it will help you when you're designing your next angled cabinet. Thank you for watching and until next time.